we are in the beautiful Puerto Morelos and it is such an amazing place that we figured that we would just give you some tips and advice on things that we learned and some knowledge a little bit of Puerto Morelos which is not as busy as some of the other sides of the Riviera Maya but nonetheless just as beautiful. It's a beautiful beautiful small beach town much more laid back than Cancun or uh, Playa del Carmen, and it's really in between the two of them. So if you're coming here and you want something a little bit more laid back, maybe try this place out. It's, it's really cool, a little bit away from the tourist you know, craziness that you get uh, when you come to Cancun and other places around here. Now, one thing that we've found here that you should be aware of when you come uh, is that there is a lot of growth of this sarcasm seaweed. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, but it's uh, basically a seaweed that floats in the ocean and then it gets blown up onto various shores and on the River Aramaya here, uh, the sargasm has really blown up on the shores, especially the week we've been here. People are people have said that they haven't really seen it this this great, yeah, right? And we've gotten true. a lot of it along the beaches, and they're trying to clean it up. Uh, but it's just something to be aware of. It definitely does affect the enjoyment of the beach, right? In terms of walking into the water, you can have sargasm, you know, up just along the shore. Whoa! Well, we're going. We're definitely getting into it. <laughs> Talk about getting into all that sargasm. Yeah, that's what we are getting around. Wow. Scientific. Yeah. So, um, if and you smell it too. Yeah. There's a sulfur smell in totally. the caves as well. So, like, if you're a real beach person, that's definitely something that might maybe hinder you a little bit. But it's not stopping some of the folks here that are still swimming in the waters. And there, there's definitely a lot of um, equipment you'll notice along parts of the beach here where they're making a strong effort to sort of get rid of some of that sargasm. But it's it's definitely becoming, um, you know, somewhat of a small problem. Oh no, definitely. And uh, I mean, it's something that has really, apparently over the last 10 years, there's been just huge growth of it in the oceans. Yes. And they talk about the runoff from the Amazons, a lot of the deforestation in the Amazons, and they started to fertilize different farmlands and things like that, that they made in replace of the, of the rainforest. And that, that fertilizer has gone into the oceans and really apparently just jump-started the growth of this stuff. And so it's just, become a real problem, especially in the Gulf area here. So something really cool that you can do here in Puerto Morelos or even scattered throughout that's not just here, but here since we are in Puerto Morelos are the cenotes, which are these incredible like natural deep water springs with like cool stalactites and bats and fresh water. And they're just really cool and amazing to kind of experience. Especially as hot as it is here, searching out some cool cenotes would be amazing. Absolutely. And the Yucatan Peninsula is really probably the best place to do it, probably in the world. True. There's thousands of them here. This whole area is basically all limestone. And over the millennia, basically water drips through and has created in, and the limestone degrades uh, because it tends to be quite porous, right? And so you create these caverns and that end up being just full of these deep freshwater pits. And the whole area is just strewn with them. And actually yeah. the ancient Maya, used to use them as ritual spots to make offerings into uh, the cenotes, yeah. which is pretty interesting as well. I think the ones we went to was called Kin Ha, Kin Ha um, cenotes, and it was quite impressive. But the gates on some of them don't open up till 10 o'clock to see yeah. the public. But if you do go with a, like a guide in particular, some of them have, I guess, special privileges to get in earlier so that the group that they're with um, actually gets kind of special priority so it's just you and the cenotes which could be really nice especially for us as like you know we're trying to film and trying to really capture the moments of those cenotes because after a while I think around 10 o'clock it got pretty busy in that cenote and it's not that big once you're inside some of these caves but to have so many people there it does kind of oh, yeah. distract from all the beauty when everything's so loud and, and, and not the way you envisioned it. Exactly. When you fly into Cancun, just keep in mind Cancun is a top tourist destination yeah. really in the world. For sure. Right, and as part of that, you know, you're gonna have a ton of tourists. It's gonna be very chaotic at the airport. And when you come out of customs, there's gonna be many, many people willing to help you. Yeah. Willing to help you and Grab take you. your money, right? <laughs> You'll come out of customs, there'll be a line of folks and so, you know, just to avoid the insanity and to make sure you get value for whatever you're signing up for, you know, we'd recommend sign up in advance, especially the ride from the airport to your hotel. Yeah, and it's just, you know, where we are, we're staying in Puerto Melo, so we just wanted to make sure we had uh, someone there waiting for us. And there's companies that you can use, but the one in particular that we really enjoyed was called USA Transfer, and we'll put the link in the description below. We are not sponsored by them. Um, we actually just thought that 
you know, talking to them and their ratings. They did a fantastic job in keeping us informed and likewise um, in terms of where they were going to be and how to find them directly because, yes. you know, there are opportunities out there where folks will definitely scam you. Um, and one in particular, and I'll just mention this, is that through the instructions that they provided to us, they actually said, "Be this is what you have to do to find your way out of the airport to find us with a USA transfer sign and a shirt. Because some folks will say, oh, um, if you ask directions on where they are, some of the other folks there might not be as willing to help you find them versus they'll tell you that they left. They'll call like a friend of theirs, <laughs> put you on the phone, and then put you in the car for probably That's not crazy. what you're supposed to yeah. pay. But what we paid, and getting back to the topic here, what we paid for a full round trip ticket was $70. So very, very accommodating. You can actually pay via credit card or you can pay them on the spot in cash if you choose to do that. They give you whatever options you need and they're very accommodating. So definitely we would suggest that or even the audio bus, um, which is another way to do it where you know what you're paying and what you're getting into. Right, because if you don't book in advance, you could pay anywhere from two to three times more. Yeah. When you're actually using a taxi cab uh, service here in Puerto Morelos, if you're trying to get to the other side of Puerto Morelos, say from the beach side um, to the more colonial side, side of uh, Puerto Morelos, taxi cab rides are generally no more than 30 pesos. So, but what I would suggest to do is before you get into the cab, you confirm that it's 30 pesos before getting in. I'll tell you this, there is like no shortage of taxi cabs no wherever, wherever you go. We're going to uh, Puerto Morelos, just on um, the 30 pesos. 30 pesos. 30 pesos. Sí, gracias. Because sometimes they'll up the ante on you. If you don't, they'll say, hey, taxi cab, they'll get you in the car. You'll say, I thought it was 30. And they'll say, no, I didn't say that. But if you confirm that price during the front, you typically won't have a problem. We haven't had a problem yet um, doing it that way. And it just it's just very helpful to know that because there's taxi cab drivers all over Puerto Melos that'll be willing to take you anywhere you want to go. But just confirm the price before you get in. One of the great things to do here in Puerto Morelos is really take advantage of the ocean and the snorkeling and scuba diving that yes, you can do. There's a, sure. a wonderful reef out there. It's actually the second largest reef in the world called the Meso-American Reef, which extends from the northern tip of Cancun all the way down to the southern end of Honduras. So it's a huge reef and just beautiful, beautiful snorkeling and scuba diving. Yeah, and when Dave and I actually went snorkeling, it was incredible. The color, of course you have the sun shining and oh, yeah. just the crystal clear water that's out there. The most beautiful corals and reefs that we've seen. Also the wildlife that we saw, it's the cutest turtle that actually came past oh, us. I know, so friendly. And colorful, the ray, the, oh my yes. goodness, we saw barracuda, we saw barracuda yes. oh my goodness. And it's grouper fish. And it was just so beautiful and quiet and peaceful under the water. So it's just something that you definitely want to do, especially if you're into the wildlife and, and seeing what it really is all about under the ocean. When you're here in Puerto Morelos or really anywhere along the Riviera Maya, make sure you stay hydrated, drink lots and lots of water, lots of agua. And one thing to keep in mind, when you go to restaurants, you don't have to actually buy bottled water. You can get agua de garrafón, which is basically water out of, uh, purified water out of five uh, gallon jugs and it's perfect to drink. I have some right here and you don't have to pay for it. It's free in restaurants so They can't charge you for that and so you can get all the agua you need when you're having your lunch and hey, having margaritas have some agua de garrafón. Something else that you want to use as a tip is when you're going into restaurants, sometimes it might be a good idea to actually hold on to your menu. This way you know that when you receive your bill at the end of your uh, stay at the, at the restaurant, that what is on the bill is actually the prices that were on the menu. And it's not saying that the establishment would be uh, guilty of this, but not all waiters uh, may be uh, honest. So as long as you have that menu in hand, it's a good idea to keep that in mind. Also, just make sure there, when you're reading through your bill, that the tip is not automatically included in that because first of all, that's illegal for them to do. So, but they will maybe have a section at the bottom that kind of shows a gratuity in terms of what you might consider paying them, sometimes between 15 and 20%. But just know that the standard is 10%. Anything above that is because of great service. So I would always keep that menu close in hand and then just keep an eye on your bill to make sure that what is on your bill is correct for what you're being charged for.
<laughs> so one other thing that we think you should be mindful of is when you are actually ordering drinks, one of the things we like to do, especially if we're ordering like margaritas, and this may not work for frozen margaritas, but we like to ask for our tequila on the side. We will actually pour in our uh, tequila just to make sure one, we're getting the right dosage um, that we're supposed to get with your tequila and it just helps. So this way I taste it, you know that it's not watered down and it's straight up tequila. Right, and Tanya knows her liquor, so she wants to make sure she gets the right liquor in her drinks, the right amount, so. Well, I want to make sure we both have a great time. Damn so it's right. nice to do that. So just be mindful, if you can do it with any of your cocktails, maybe try and order whatever ounces that they're supposed to put into your cocktail. Ask for it on the side. So this way you actually know you're getting the right amount to get that oh so good feeling. <laughs> oh so good. Look, aren't they the cutest? Look, there's two of them. Two cutie pies. Hi, baby. Yes, look how beautiful. Look at those eyes. Look, there's two of them here. There's two cutie pies. Isn't it beautiful? They're so beautiful. Hi, baby. Oh, I'm done. this far in the video thank you very much cheers to you we really appreciate that and we just want to just make mention really quick if you have any tips or advice that you can share leave them in the comments below because we figured like we said once before that this is kind of a growing community of travelers and any bit of tips and information that you can provide will help the next person when they're traveling to one of these locations enjoy their experience even that much further so right now Dave and I we're just gonna sit back enjoy some of these beers with some of these incredible views but we want to first want to say thank you so much for joining us we do appreciate that and as always we look forward to seeing you on the road Goodbye.